Greet one person responsible for the machine or work area and identify yourself as a BioCircle Care Technician. Fill out the following sections of the service call report. Customer information, BioCircle L liquid. If the pH level is below 6, add UNOSF and STIR until pH is back to 7. Use pH strips to retest the pH and ensure it is at 7. Complete the machine information section. Complete the inspection section. Take one picture of the outside of the machine and one of the inside of the machine before cleaning. Spray the interior of the sink with UNO SV and allow it to soak for two minutes. While the UNO SV is allowed to work, maintain the filter bowl. Empty the filter bowl into the bucket vac bucket. Clean the bowl. Reinstall the bowl without filter cartridge. Cleaning the sink. Empty and clean the sink strainers. Scrub the interior of the machine sink with a white Blendex pad. Rinse the sink with the machine's brush. Place a new filter cartridge inside the bowl and install it. If the machine has a filter bag under the sink, replace it with a new one. Put the used filter cartridge bag into a clear plastic bag. Connect the compressed air to the fitting on the filter regulator. Set the regulator to 90 psi by lifting the black knob to adjust. A minimum of 19 CFM at 80 psi is required for proper functioning of the care drum. The use of adapters may be necessary for this connection. Empty the BioCircle machine. Remove cover on suction inlet and install 25 micron filter sock. Replace cover on suction inlet and connect hose to suction inlet. Ensure that the discharge outlet is covered. Turn XR system valve to fill drum. Insert the aluminum suction wand half of the way into the used BioCircle L liquid. Open the yellow valve. Drain the machine as low as possible without sucking any sludge at the bottom of the machine or oil floating on the surface into the large drum. Close the yellow valve when above process is complete. Always snap the pail handle onto the main grey lid to secure it. Operating Instructions Plug the bucket back into an outlet with the GFCI adapter. Do not use a filter bag. Collect all of the remaining sludge and liquid at the bottom of the machine with the bucket back. When suction stops or slows greatly and the motor speed increases, bucket is full. Spray the interior surface of the machine and the section of the module inside the machine with Omni and allow to soak for one minute. Use the long-handled white brush, scrub the walls and bottom of the tank. Use the short white brush to clean the module. Remove any growth, contaminants, etc. present on the module. Rinse the module and machine walls with filtered BioCircle L liquid from the drum. Connect hose to discharge outlet. Ensure that the suction inlet is covered. Turn XR system valve to empty drum. Open the yellow valve slowly. Pump the filtered BioCircle L back into the BioCircle machine while rinsing the module and the walls. 
You should not require more than 5 to 10 liters of fluid to perform this operation. Collect the remaining liquid at the bottom of the machine with the bucket vac. Remove the RMU from the machine to clean the tank wall behind it. Wipe the walls and bottom of the machine dry with rags supplied by the end user. If rags are not available, use white paper. Replace the air diffusers on the module if needed. Reinstall the RMU. Open the yellow valve slowly. Pump the filtered BioCircle L back into the BioCircle machine. When all of the BioCircle L has been pumped back into the machine, close the yellow valve. Top up the machine with BioCircle L if necessary. This is very important in order to keep the machine running at optimal performance. Spray exterior surfaces of the machine with Uno SV and allow the product to work for two minutes before scrubbing action is initiated. Clean the exterior surface of the machine. Scrub the outside of the sink and the base with a white Blendex pad. Reapply Uno SV if necessary or use SC400 for especially tough stains. In order to give the machine's sink a nice shine, apply a thin layer of Omni to the inside and outside of the sink. Remove bucket back from the used pail and place on a new pail on the care cart. Throw all used filters, used white paper and used Blendex pads in a clear plastic bag. Identify the pail that contains oil or sludge as being destined for waste disposal by marking waste with a black marker on the outside of the pail. If the customer complains about having to buy a pail of liquid for top-up, show them the pail with the sludge and oil and explain to them that one pail of contaminants was taken out of their liquid and one fresh pail of liquid needs to be put back in. One pail out, one pail in. Take one picture of the outside of the machine and one of the inside of the machine after cleaning. Complete the remaining sections of the service call report. Replace any damaged parts as needed. Ensure that the service call report is signed by the person responsible for the machine or work area. Present to the person responsible all of the available accessories that will help ensure that their BioCircle machine is performing at maximum capability. BioCircle Environmental Solutions. Making green work.